Hi, people of God. I just wanted to um, share the word with you for a minute and say a few on the word. Um, coming from John uh, 12, starting at 26, it says, Whosoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my spirit also will be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. Now my heart is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? No. It is for this very reason I came to this hour. So, Father, glorify your name. Amen. Um, man, this, this says so much for me. Um, it talks about, you know, persevering through your trials, um, even when you want to give up, you know. So, <clears throat> I first just want to say that <clears throat> leaders, pastors, apostles, bishops, um, even, you know, to the lay members, we all have things that we're going to have to persevere through. Um, it doesn't mean that now that I'm an, I'm an elder or I'm a deacon or I'm a pastor, I'm an apostle, I'm a bishop, that um, we have to stop and we, we've arrived somewhere. Jesus himself, the son of God, um, he had to deal with the fact that he was facing some some adversity, some trying times. I mean, he knew he was going to the cross. And his flesh didn't want to go. His spirit came here for a reason. And still his flesh didn't want to go. He said, my heart is troubled. But do I say, oh, Father, deliver me? No. No. What I say is, the Lord has us in places of growth. In places of elevation. And... For us to do that, we're going to have to go to the cross. We're going to have to lay down our pride and lay down our selfishness. And those things um, being done away with only come through um, crucifying our flesh. And he said, this is the reason I was born. This is the reason why I am even in the earth. So shall I say, God... Um, let this pass over me? No. I'm going to say, God, glorify your name through my trials. God, glorify your name through my suffering. God, glorify your name through the cru crucifixion of my flesh, God, through the humbling of my pride. Oh my gosh, that that that's just, that just speaks so much to my spirit. God, I ask that you humble me, break down the barriers of pride that my flesh over the years has resurrected, Lord Jesus. And I say, get the glory, God, in every situation and every circumstance, even though I may kick, even though I may cry, even sometimes I may wail, Lord, but I say, and everything, Father God, I, my soul, wants you to glorify your name, God. If you've got to pull me through the muck and the mire to glorify your name, then do so, Father God. And I just want to encourage the people of God that when you are going through that, hallelujah, bless God in the middle of, um, we always say pray until something happens. And um, I heard a man of God one time said, praise until something happens. So even in our, go our going through, we need to praise him in the middle of <laughs> beforehand in the middle of and after praise him sometimes for where he is taking you i know that we praise him for what he's taken us out of what he's brought us from but we need to praise him even more for the places that he has taken us to and i just want to praise god and say he is glory he is glory he is glory in himself he is awesome and um, 
I just want to say thank him. And I and I just want to encourage the people of God that um, everything you're going through, um, when you come out of it, it will all be to glorify the name of Jesus Christ. How wonderful is that?